Hello, welcome everyone. This is Dr. Viral Parekh from Calcutta Academy of Radiology. From today, we have started a new series which will be known as Case of the Week and it will be published on every weekend on our YouTube channel which is also known as Calcutta Academy of Radiology. So today is the first case of the series and honors goes to me to present the first case. Here is a 30 years old man presenting with seizures, ataxia, dystonia, spasticity and mild mental retardation. An MRI of brain was done. Here are the T1 weighted images. Here are the T2 weighted images. Here are the flare images. As we can see from all these images that there are diffuse white matter changes and there are subcortical cysts in bilateral, anterior, temporal and frontal regions. The cerebellum and brainstem are normal. So here are the images. Here we can see the subcortical cyst in bilateral anterior temporal region. The pons appears normal. The visualized cerebellum appears normal. So again, th there are subcortical cysts in bilateral anterior frontal regions. And here are the T1 and the flare images which show diffuse white matter changes. Here are the sagittal T1 and T2 weighted images. The corpus callosum is normal, the cerebellum is normal, the brain stem is normal. So to summarize the findings, what we can see is there is megalencephaly. There are diffuse alter signal intensity lesions in bilateral cerebral white matter which are hypo intense on T1 weighted images and hyper intense on T2 and flare images. There is sparing of cerebellar white matter. There are bilateral subcortical cysts of CNCF intensity affecting anterior temporal and frontal lobes. So the diagnosis is megalencephalic leukoencephalopathy with subcortical cysts, also known as Vandernap disease or Agarwal disease. There is a community in India which is known as Agarwal. And this disease is mostly seen in Agarwal community. That is why the disease is known as Agarwal's disease and this patient also happens to be an Agarwal. It is, this disease is a form of hereditary CNS demyelinating disease. It belongs to a group of disorders called leukodystrophies. Megalencephalic leukoencephalopathy with subcortical cysts is a condition that affects brain development and function. Individuals with this condition have an enlarged brain also known as megalencephaly and an abnormality of the white matter in the brain which is known as leukoencephalopathy. In MLC, the myelin is swollen and contains numerous fluid-filled pockets. Over the time, the swelling decreases and the myelin begins to atrophy. There are three types of MLC which are distinguished by their signs and symptoms and genetic cause. Type 1 is caused by mutation in the MLC1 gene. Type 2a and 2b are caused by mutations in the hepachem gene. The gene hepachem is based on its original site of identification, hepatocytes and the nature of its protein product, a cell addition molecule. MLC type 1 and 2a are inherited in an autosomal recessive manner. Type 2b is inherited in an autosomal dominant manner. In approximately 5% of the cases with MLC, the cause is unknown. Although Wimps and Singhal, an Indian neurologist, initially described a megalencephalic leukodystrophy series of cases in 1991. However, the disease is named after Van der Knapp, a Dutch pediatric neurologist who presented another series with clinical and radiological features in 1995. 
so thanks a lot for your kind attention next week we'll be back again with a new case till then take care and stay safe